It's 2021, and for the Eindhoven University of Technology, it's a big year. It's our 65th birthday, which means it's a Lustrum year. And for this Lustrum year, the theme is heroes like you. Welcome to the first episode of Heroes Like You TV. Hi there, I'm your host, Barry Fitzgerald, and you're very welcome to this episode of Heroes Like You TV, where you'll hear about the latest news and events connected to TUE's Lustrum year. Right, let's get straight into the first story. FameLab, the science communication competition, where contestants talk about a scientific topic of their choice without slides in three minutes, is coming back to TUE in a very big way this year. In addition to the FameLab TUE Heat, which will take place in April, TUE will be hosting the National FameLab Final, and that will take place on Tuesday, June 1st, during Dutch Technology Week. But first, there's the small matter of the FameLab TUE Heat, and that will be taking place online on Thursday, April 29th. Last year, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the FameLab TUE Heat also took place online, where Sofia Shanko was crowned the jury winner of FameLab TUE 2020. This year, Sofia is part of the jury. Let's hear from Sofia about her experiences in FameLab and how much she's looking forward to being part of the jury for FameLab TUE 2021. FameLab has been an exciting experience for me wherein I got to challenge myself resulting in both personal and academic growth. Conducting science is immensely fascinating, but effectively communicating scientific ideas is equally important. The fame lab equipped me for that. Last year, I was the jury's favorite, but this year I get to choose my favorite. I'm looking forward to all the videos of the contestants. And don't forget, you could watch the fame lab TUE Heat online on Thursday, April 29th. Stay tuned to the TUE website and TUE social media channels for further details. You definitely don't want to miss this inspiring evening of science communication. The campus at the Eindhoven University of Technology has undergone some significant changes in recent years. Some buildings have been renovated and we've also seen the construction of newer ones. The Laplace building, which is home to the Eindhoven Artificial Intelligence Systems Institute, or EASY, is one building that's going to see some significant changes. Not only will the building be renovated, but it's also going to get a new name. A few months ago, TUE launched a competition to give Laplace a new name, and they received 180 entries from TUE students and staff. Four individuals independently picked the winning new name for Laplace, and that name is Neuron. One of the individuals who picked Neuron is Dorina Helches, who is a communications officer in the Department of Chemical Engineering and Chemistry. Let's hear from Dorina about why she picked Neuron as the new name for Laplace. Yeah, basically I just started to freely associate around uh, the words artificial intelligence. So I actually came up with a lot of names, but one of them was Neuron, uh, because you have artificial neurons and neural networks. So I think it kind of made sense to submit Neuron. And also it, it sounds good with the other buildings. So Helix, Vertigo, Gemini, Flux, Atlas, Neuron. As I mentioned, four individuals came up with the same name for the building, that being Neuron. In addition to Dorina, Niels Dane, Alarisa Mohamed Kani, and Niels Valks all suggested the name Neuron. I think that's a fantastic example of super minds thinking alike. And finally, a regular segment that you're going to see in many of the episodes of Heroes Like You TV is the Hero of the Month. This is an award that will be given to members of the TUE community who have achieved or done something heroic, whether it's big or small. For this first episode, the Heroes of the Month for March are the core team behind TUE Innovation Space, who won the first ever Netherlands Higher Education Award. And the prize? A cool 1.2 million euros. The efforts of the team has led to national recognition of challenge-based learning at TUE. 
The core team, which is made up of 10 individuals, includes Bart Koppelmans, a master's student in innovation management. Here's Bart's reaction to winning the Netherlands Higher Education Award. Winning the Higher Education Awards has been one of the most impressive achievements for Tiwi Innovation Space. And um, of course, the recognition together with the award itself is going to be used to draft individual learning paths for every student in the university. Uh, and honestly, I can just say it's amazing to be part of this uh, incredibly unique and diverse team. Once again, congratulations to Bart and the core members of TUE Innovation Space. You are our Heroes of the Month. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Heroes Like You TV. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on social media so you can get the latest information and news in relation to TUE's Lustrum Year celebrations. I'll be back with another episode of Heroes Like You TV very, very soon. And until I see you then, stay safe and stay healthy.